Guys, we have a surprise for you. Well, it's no longer a surprise because she's here! <laughs> Tessa surprise. Violet! It's me. I will just say, out of every single like artist that I've like interviewed, when she walked into the room today, like the energy in the entire building shifted to like something like spectacular and like colossal and like vibrant. So I really want to get into her story. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Good to hear. I felt good coming in. I was like, yeah, I feel good today. You know, I, I haven't done an in-person press thing since before the pandemic. And wow. when I used to do it, I would feel so nervous coming in. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I'm here was my no. energy. And now I'm just like, what's up, bitch? We're going to have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. She's like, what's happening? I'm like, but... okay. So you got your star on YouTube. Yeah while you were like vlogging in Hong Kong yes. and Thailand yeah. as a model. Shout out. I was going to ask if you were a model because you are very yes. tall and beautiful. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, I, I think that's what they do. They send you to like foreign countries to develop yeah. and um, like start your book yeah. and work long hours and like kind of get broken in. So I wanted to know about your experience, like in that whole thing, just modeling in general and like maybe you know? Yeah. Like for you. Um, I didn't like it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> here's what I, okay. Before I, here's what I did love about it. I love to get to travel and I loved being Asia. Yeah. I did, um, Tokyo. I did Hong Kong. I did, um, Shanghai. I did Thailand, um, Bangkok and I did Seoul. And that was a really incredible experience I, from a very small town and to be overseas in a different culture was incredible. The modeling industry, ah, it's not for me. Um, you know, did it give me an eating disorder? Not no. Uh, uh, not no for like at least a year and then you were like, okay, wait, we have to be people, you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's, it's funny because now I love fashion so much, but at the time I, I wasn't really interested in it. So um, I, I would not say it was something that I was passionate about and I didn't like feeling that I was only valued for what I looked like. Um, uh, so it was not for me, but that was like 10 years ago. So I don't know if maybe the industry feels very different now. I think there is, just looking out from the outside looking in, I feel like there is more emphasis on like personality and personal branding because of the influence of Instagram on the industry. Mm -hmm. You know, before I think maybe you were more just like a face. And a they did not picture. care if you said a word, just. Yes, yeah. um, but now it is like, well, who are they on social media? And you can be whoever you want. So mm -hmm. that's a thought I have, I don't know. Is that true? Super, well, yes. I feel like I'm watching like the industry change over the past few years has been really cool. Um, cause I think when we started, it was a lot more like boot camp and like strict and like, you know, you're in the box or you're not in the box. Yeah. I remember this one time, just like one last thing about this. My, I, my friend, Alice, she was sent to Thailand mm -hmm. and I like dead serious, like I had met her in Europe and then she was sent to Thailand and then we were FaceTiming while from Thailand and it literally like she was in the jungle, like the mall apartment was in the jungle. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah, so what, what yeah. was that like, kind of like your living situation and just kind of like with the other girls, did you get along with the other girls because you were an artist? Maybe you were kind of out, like the odd one out? No, I mostly did. I, I, yeah. here's a, though, though I have negative things to say about the industry, the people on a like person to person basis, everyone was really nice and really lovely. Mm -hmm. And so that was nice, but I've also always struggled to make friends, or at least I did when I was younger. So. Maybe I never, no, I have a few people I connected with for sure. Everyone was really nice. It's just the toxicity of the, you know, what you're expected and the, um, how thin you're expected to be. At least mm. we were in, you know, the 2000s. Mm. Well, what about that transition to yeah. being an artist? Yeah. You know, I think like kind of right out of high school being thrown into that world, you know, you're kind of like conditioned to be, to fit a bunch of check, like to check a bunch of boxes. And so like that, and then like when you maybe discover yourself and you're like, wait, I like to, to make things, did that feel weird kind of having to undo a lot of those things that you were conditioned to be like? Not for me, because to be honest, I was never that good at fitting in the box. Like, <laughs> word. 
<laughs> like it's not like I was a hugely successful model. You know, I did. I, I worked really well in some markets. I worked really well in Tokyo. I like worked really well in Thailand, but like I did not work well in Seoul. And my agents would be like, "Can you be like just less weird at the castings?" Oh my God. And I'd be like, "I don't." know how to be less weird because this is just who I am right now as like, you know, still a kid, you know, 18. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean, when I was modeling, I was doing YouTube and that was really early in YouTube days. That was yes. before people, like I would tell people about it and they type in the letter U, YouTube. Uh -uh. Um, and that was my creative outlet all along, you know, to get to be myself online, even if I felt like where I was working, I couldn't really be who I was. Oh my God, let's talk about the YouTube era. Yeah. Oh my God, so what made you upload, start vlogging on YouTube? Yeah, um, when I was, the year is 2005, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I saw, um, I was in a high school play and they wanted me to do a um, Midwestern accent or something for something. So I was on YouTube searching like, what does this accent sound like? And I found um, a vlogger in Germany who was talking about his German accent or something. I can't even remember. And it was just so like, I don't know, a beam of light to be like, how interesting is it that here I am sitting in my small town and I'm connecting to someone who's on the other side of the planet talking very like just personably about their life. Very matter of fact, speaking to their camera and then, you know, through tech, these wires mm -hmm. to me like a friend. And I was just like, it felt sort of Hannah Montana, you know, like <laughs> he's just a normal person, but here he is like, uh, a micro celebrity in this wow. other world, but it's like they're so separate. And I, I loved that idea. And I was like, I want to do that. Um, so yeah, I saved for my first camera. My mom, my mom paid for one half and I saved for the other half. Shout out mom. Shout out mom. Let's do it. And I did, when I went to Hong Kong, that's the first time I did it. And I did a video every day of that experience and were the girls in the like in the apartment just like yo there's this one girl who just like is vlogging like you gotta like it was before anyone knew what vlogging was okay, so, so it, like, oh, the camera. it like yeah it wasn't like an influencer it wasn't oh, anything it was they definitely thought i was weird one time i took a video of me running to the beach and i'd set the camera up and they did not know <laughs> the camera was running and one of them said she's pretty odd <laughs> and the other one goes yeah and like nothing like oh my mean, <gasps> nothing mean, you know, but just like she's odd. And I'm like, yes, that's true, I am odd. And that sounds very Eastern European. It was. Okay. Yes, yep. We knew Russian. that. That's very uh, shout out the Russians. <laughs> um I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought there. I'm like, what was the question? Where was I going with this? YouTube era, starting with YouTube. Oh yeah, just so yeah, all along. I mean, that was just a creative outfit outlet to kind of figure out who I was and to yeah, uh, document what it was like to be a teenager in the late 2000s. Yeah, that's so funny. She's pretty odd. <laughs> I'm gonna remember that. Okay, you also have a really cool story about having a uh, friend's guitar yeah. in your car, who like, you were like, yo, bro, you gotta pick up your guitar, like I have it, and then you were like, oh, wait a second, and he never got back to you or something like that. Yeah. Then you were like, well, I guess I'm gonna learn guitar. So, yeah. and now here she, here she is. Yes, now she so, is. Yeah, it's funny how things like work out like that, but can you tell us about just like starting out, you know, making music and like your first song, oh. stuff like that? Yeah, um, I, it had never occurred to me. I love to sing, I always love to sing, but I wasn't like a phenomenal singer. Like, it's not like people are looking to me like, oh my God, Tessa, <sighs> so that voice. <laughs> um, and it had just never occurred to me that like you can write your own songs, but I love to sing. I felt very heartbroken out of high school. I, I had thought that I wanted to do musical theater, but um, I was a bad actor, so. Really? <laughs> um, Wait, know, why, why do you say you're a bad actor? I just, I was and continue to be. I don't know how to channel like in that way where, one, I can't memorize lines at all. I've never been able to memorize um, lines, but I also just don't know how to, channel um a character like that so after high school it was like such a like my first big heartbreak to know that like oh the thing i love to do to be on stage to sing i will never have that and i, I felt really sad about that and like who I told just, you that 
I don't know. Maybe I told myself that, but I yeah. Also, I also no, I was about to beat him up. Plays and see, you know, the feedback of you know <laughs> not being cast or being chorus. Um, so yeah, I just like you know put that away for like five years and you know did YouTube, which I loved. And then when my friend left his guitar in my car, I was like, oh, such a shame. No one's playing this beautiful instrument. Like. Um, and I was like, well, wait, I could learn how to play guitar. Why not? So like, I started learning, and I like learned a few covers. And I was like, OK, well, two weeks ago, I couldn't play guitar. And now I kind of can. Maybe I could write a song. And then once I started writing, I was like, oh, OK, if you write your own songs, no one can tell you not to sing. There's no audition process if you are you know, creating your own words. And it just felt so like a blossoming of, of course, this is what I was supposed to be doing mm -hmm. all along. I didn't know. And um, someone, a fan asked me the other day, what do you like more, touring or um, writing music? Mm. And I was like, oh, touring, definitely. Really? <laughs> touring is so much fun. It's the mm. celebration. <gasps> writing is work, you know? Mm. Um, writing is like, oh, pulling it out of you. It's hard work. I'm like, but that said, would I love touring if I wasn't singing my own songs, I don't know, that doesn't sound as gratifying because it's, it's such a celebration of your own story and um, of the work you did, you know. I had a friend once say, um, writing is terrible, having written is amazing. And I oh, that's a, that. okay. Do you feel that way? Wait, honestly, like, I see the theater kid, like, in you, <laughs> like, like, a lot. Because I went to an arts high school, Yeah. and, like, they separated the, um, the different, studies by floor yeah. and shout out my best friend but she was a drama major i was a vocal major and she the all the drama kids are in the basement and it was like this ongoing joke like yo like like if you have to go to the basement like i'm like praying for you like like don't go to the basement <laughs> like the basement is off limits <laughs> because you go to the basement and the drama kids are just like cuckoo bouncing off the walls oh, like yeah. screaming and wild. doing weird things and face painting yeah and, and kids, myself included yeah so they were the wild kids but they were also the coolest kids because they didn't give a fuck so you give me like drama kid energy shout out LaGuardia <laughs> you also went to an art school too right yeah. where you studied in the arts program no my but my high school is very like arts forward arts ashland forward. is a um the oregon shakespeare festival is in ashland so it has a lot of funding for the arts but it is just a public school wow and that's that's so important though too like for you know programs to be offered in yeah. just like yeah. public schooling too because i mean where would you and i be like without that kind of support yeah, arts yeah. should be for everyone. There should be more funding in all the schools. All the teachers need to be paid more, too. That's a fact. I met this teacher the other day, too, and she was, like, saying that she had to stop teaching because it was, like, not... There was, there was oh, yeah. not enough. It's bad news. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, why do we accept this? We, we, as a culture, decide what to do. We could just choose to vote differently, vote different things in. We could choose to prioritize, like, our public school system, our children. And it's, like, why don't we? And it's, like, you know... I think we know why we don't, but it's just like. What would you do if you weren't doing art? Like in an alternate universe. I think there's two versions of my alternate ver universe. One is like working in the healing world in some way. Mm -hmm. I have an interest in um, psychedelic therapy. There's a lot of like positive, um, um, uh, research coming in about MDMA therapy. I, I have personally never um, sat with MDMA, but I have done a ayahuasca ceremony, which I, you know, it's like you. Almost, but how did it go? It changed my life, um, absolutely. And so, you know, I use, I just feel Does so. It weird? What? Does it taste weird? Yeah. <laughs> you know, the first time it tastes like. Um, molasses it's kind of sweet and oh, you're like sweet. oh yeah. i don't know why people have a reaction to this but then when you do it again you understand because you have the memory connected to that experience oh. so anyway i i have felt so healed by you know um, a psychedelic ceremony in a in a traditional setting and um i i'm curious about also the um the western side of it too okay also you're going on tour and you have a new album out in july yes july 14th or 16th i think it's the 14th um my album, My God, 
um, comes out and it's really good. My single just came out, My God, which is really good. My God, let's talk about that because one of my favorite songs is um, uh, To Your Mom. Yes. Yes, Mom? Yes, Mom. Yes. But is that To Your Mom? Was no, that written to me? To me. <laughs> oh! I'm like, oh, she wrote like a really confident song, like, like really like uplifting, like sexy, like upbeat. And I thought it was to your mom. Um, yeah, it's uh, called it's called Yes, Mom, because yes. it's a thing my friend says, like if you walk in the room, she goes, yes, mom, like no matter who you are. So I'm like, that's fun. I'm going to throw that in the song. <laughs> yes, and then in parentheses of that song. I'm the one to beat. Yes. yes. Because. Um, People thought that's what the song was called because that's the part that went viral on TikTok. So I'm like, maybe we should, you know, include that. That's fire. Well, where, where was your head at when you were writing that song? Mm, I was really sad. I had just been through a breakup and I just, I had also written a bunch of breakup songs already. And I just felt like I do not want to write about being sad today. I want to write about being a bad bitch because yeah. that's what I am. And, um, yeah, that song. The other day I was headed to a music video shoot and um, I, I just felt like that's what I needed right now. And th this week I was headed to a music video shoot and I'd had a cry that morning, but I was thinking, okay, I need to like, I need to get out of this phase. I need to get into my bad bitchiest self because I'm about to be on camera and I need to channel power, not channel um, insecurity. And I put on Yes Mom to hear it and in it is the second verse is like, um, push me down and I bounce right back trampoline and it's in my past. And I'm like, this far. yes, bitch. Yes. I'm like, wow, I really wrote this I song got chills. for me. I, just, I really just got chills. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, that's okay. I can feel five minutes ago, like five minutes ago, I can feel whatever I was feeling, you know, insecure or whatever. And like, that doesn't need to set the tone for the whole day. I can choose right now to be like, okay, that's how I felt then. I feel great now. Yes. And yeah. <laughs> Yes. Wait, that's fire. Thanks for giving us like that, that yeah, insight thing. Because I was bumping that earlier and I was in Jordan. I was like, yo, and I was like, yo, it's like fire. Wait till you hear my new one. The ne okay. The next yeah, what's one? coming next? The song that is like the, the feature track on the album is called Bad Bitch. So it's, you know, okay. it's more of Yes Mom. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Guys, this is a this is an old pop dust tradition, and we're gonna play. It. Okay. Doo. Okay, so just pick like we're gonna go like pick a few. So just pick one. <laughs> just pick one. <laughs> it's like I want to know what they all are. I'm gonna go for this one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You could you could just yeah. It's a question. Dating apps or meeting in real life? Oh, I mean, hey. What about you? Um, I've had honestly, I've met amazing people through in person, but also really amazing people through this app called Raya. Ooh, yeah. I mean, I got one. Raya's for the famous it. people in LA. If oh you don't God. know, you need to be approved. Girl, you gotta get, to get on, on it. it. Dude, I was denied. <gasps> I was denied. And also now I'm engaged. So, you know. <laughs> wait, wait, what's your, what's, wait, you're engaged? I am. Since when? October. Are you, what does that feel like? Good. So good, so happy. I really? love, um, yeah, dude, I, my fiance makes me so happy, so happy. He's such a nice man, and um, I feel really taken care of and really seen. And I can feel like I, I can really be who I am around him. And, like, he, I feel like he can be who he is around me, and I just love him so much for who he is. We were friends for, like, seven years before we started <gasps> dating, so. You know what's so funny? Lately, I've been, like, meeting a lot of my friends that are getting into, like, serious relationships with, people they've been friends with yeah. and it has me literally looking at all my friends being like wait I think I might actually have some cute guy friends um yeah uh, I'm like which one of my guy friends is cute Jordan's like what is she talking about okay date your friends no date seriously your friends. Date, your friends. date your friends or just I mean <laughs> not to be too chaotic but I'm like or just hook up with them I don't know you know that's but then you might ruin it it has to be like you know like, I don't know yes think about it don't do it impulsively that's what me and my fiance did he was like should we make out? And I was like, what? <gasps> he said that to you? Yes, which is very me. I love, I love to have a conversation, you know? So I was like, um, let me think about it. And I was like, how long did you think about it for? 
well, just in the conversation, I was like, let me think about it. Um, no, I was like, I don't, I, I'm like, I, you know, your friendship is really important to me and I don't want to get weird and I feel like I might get weird. That sounds like me. And he's like, great, no worries. It's totally fine, no problem. And then like two weeks later, I was like, mm, so about making out. Oh, <laughs> should we try it? Um, <laughs> And he said so about make it out. <laughs> yeah, but like then once, you know, we were dating, it was just like, oh, of course I love you. I always have. Wow. You know? And I already I already knew who he was. So it wasn't like you were trying to get to know someone through the um, lens of like, oh, yes. you know, when you first meet someone and you have an idea of who they are. And also they present to you as an idea of who they want to be. Wow, I'd already, you know, known Dante for seven years. So I'm like, yeah, I know that I love you. <laughs> oh. Anyway, dating apps are real life. Um, <laughs> I've had a lot of great experiences on dating apps. Um, what I like about them is that they are like no stakes at all. And when I was in my dating app era, I would just meet up with people almost right away. I'd get coffee instead of texting because I'm like, texting is nothing. The guy I liked the most through a dating app that I wrote crush about, I did not like over text. I was like, Ugh, this guy's annoying. But then when I met up with him, I was like, oh, you're so nice. So um, yeah, I, I would say I am pro dating app, but just meet up with people. Don't spend a lot of time on it. But that said, the idea of you know meeting someone in real life is very romantic. What's great about real life is it means that your friends probably already know them. That was my rule too. Like recently, I'm like, I'm not dating any more men that my friends don't like. Wow, that's bold. What, well, come on, why yes. don't your friends like them? There's a reason, you know? Okay, next question, come from. <laughs> me cut Demi's like, out. enough about me. <laughs> uh. um, what's your favorite reality show? Oh, God. Okay, well, oh, here's, my, here's my beef with reality TV. Oh shit. I don't, I think the reason that we like reality TV, mostly uh, trashy reality TV, is that we feel good about judging other people. And I don't feel good about being that person. That said, it's very easy to fall into it. Mm -hmm. I, so, I go through phases with The Bachelor where I'm like, oh, okay, why am I talking about The Bachelor when I could be talking about Survivor, which is the best reality TV show of all time, and I would love to be on Survivor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, it's because I was just talking about trashy reality TV, which Survivor have not, is not. If you've never given it a chance, Survivor is so high tier and has so much like history and lore. People come in with strategy. I love Survivor. Is it like Naked and Afraid? No, no, it is so much better. Okay, okay, one well, last one. <laughs> At the beginning of this, I was like, how long is this so I know how long to pace my, my answers? And I'm, I know I'm going way long. What's the most LA thing about you? Hey. Um, she likes fact, nature. I was going to say that I live in sweats. It's like I have to be in this city because I uh, need to be in my sweats almost all the time. It's, you know, I, I've dressed up for this. What about you? What's your most LA? She also loves the nature. Yes. She doesn't like New York. Sorry. I love Joshua Tree. Have you been? One time. <gasps> so good. One time for a sketchy reason. Oh. And I, I just thought it was just a bunch of sand and cactus. Oh, no, so I didn't really understand the appeal yeah. to that. Reminded me of that movie Hole a little bit. Yeah, maybe you got to go to a different part. Have you ever been to the Integra Trunk? No. Oh my gosh, a beautiful sound bath. It's in this building. Really? Um, that was built by a man who said that he was getting instructions from aliens to build a oh, house that no. you live forever. Um, nope. He mysteriously uh. disappeared. Um, but the building, Oh, that was his plan. Yeah, but the building was acquired by um, a person that does sound baths in the, the um, top now. It's so beautiful. It's a dome-shaped stru structure. So, Dude, one more. You can, do, you can just make my episode extra long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what game show would you have the best chance at winning? I mean, I want to say Survivor, you know? Yes! But I also have, I'm like not athletic at all, so it's like probably not. But I don't know trivia and I can't spell, so I can't imagine another one I'd be good at. Survivor, you're the newest member sitting right here. Yes, Jeff, bring me <laughs> Okay, well thank you very much, that was, that was Survivor!